This demonstration is based on a question that I get time and time again from students of Adobe Illustrator, and that is, once you have started a document and you've done some things to it, but you get new parameters and you need to reset the size and some of the document setup preferences for that document, can you do that? How do you do that? And so this changing document setup demo, we're going to talk about how you view set and set units of measure and show your rulers on the artboard, um, how you can return to document setup, adjusting the artboard, and then using tooltips versus your absolute settings for the artboard. So let's say we have started this advertisement and maybe it ran, maybe it was a full page ad that ran. But now you have the direction to create a 3 by 5 quarter page advertisement using some of the same items. And since you're going to use some of the same ass assets here, you really don't want to start over again because you can save time by reusing these items. So how do you reset the parameters for this document? Well, one of the first things I want to do is see what we're starting with. What is this, the current size of this document? Once I've opened it, um, I can do a couple of things. One thing I can do is I can view rulers, show rulers. And that's under your view drop down menu. Once I've showed the rulers, um, I can control click or right click to change the ruler dimensions. I can show it in maybe pixels if this is going to appear on a website, but in this case it's a print document so I'm going to keep it selected to inches. Now I can make sure that my guides, which are currently showing, if they're not, I can go under view, guides, show guides, or high guide, hide guides. So here's how I view guides, show guides. And now we know that we're going to work towards um, a 3 by 5. Now if I try to click on the guides and nothing happens, it means that they're locked. So under view guides, I can unlock the guides by unchecking lock guides. And I can click and drag these guidelines to my new settings, which is approximately 3 by 5. Now I can get more specific later, but I do know that I'm going to have to rescale this item to about a 3 by 5 set of dimensions. Now that I have that relatively set, I kind of know what I'm dealing with here. It's going to be a lot smaller. Um, so we're going to have to figure out a way to condense this and maybe only use one or two of the assets and then convert the text to potentially bullet points. Another thing that I can do is with this document is if I use the selection tool and select somewhere off the artboard, I get this no selection control panel and it also lets me bring up the document setup. I can also bring up document setup under file document setup. So there's two places to bring up document setup. You can always bring it up under file and document setup and sometimes if you click away off the artboard you can have no selection and bring up document setup from there. Now in this particular ad type, um, we didn't have any bleed settings because it's not something that's going to be cut, it's actually something that's going to be placed within a magazine. So I didn't have any bleed settings, but you could, if necessary, reset your bleed settings here. And we'll get into some of these more specific settings later. But you can access edit artboards from document setup also. There's two places to access edit artboards. You can edit your artboard under File Document Setup and that pulls up the bounding box for your artboard. Or you can simply click on this item in your toolbar, the Artboard tool. Now once that's selected in the control panel for the artboard, 
You can you can give the artboard a name if you really wanted to, um, but you have very specific settings on the right side where you can change the X and Y coordinates um, as well as setting the width and height of the artboard. So you could set a very specific, I could go in there and I could type 3 by 5. I can go to the artboard stage and I can click and drag my artboard and I can trigger that artboard at any time by toggling the artboard tool on the toolbar and click and drag. So I can set a basic artboard setting or I can type in a very specific width and height which you may not be able to see um, in the artboard in the options control panel on the far right for the artboard. You can literally type in the exact dimensions and in this case I typed 3 by 5. 3 inches by 5 inches. Um, one little tip if your ruler isn't set to inches, let's say it was in pixels for example, so let's con let's see control and set this to pixels. So let's say it's in pixels for some reason and you wanted to change the artboard settings to 3 inches by 5 inches, just a little tip, if you type 3 space I in and then go to height and, tape and type 5 space I in, you actually will be getting the pixel equivalence of 3 inches by 5 inches. So sometimes just using the the little the little substitutions for inches, which is IN, or pixels, which would be PX, you can type in those specific values as well. So it's not going to be very apparent that we made that change because the artboard is actually below the artwork. So if I bring up my layers panel and hide the artwork, you can see the artboard there. So now we know that these are the parameters that we're working within and we know that we have some condensing to do, but we were able to actually set and change the document setup as well as um, displaying the units of measure and changing the size for this, for this ad or for this document that we've already started. And just remember, if you control click you can bring up those units of measure in the ruler, but you first have to show the ruler under window, uh, I'm sorry, under view and rulers, show rulers. So that's a quick review on answering that frequently asked question is how do I change the parameters once a document has already been set?